What you're going to watch me do in this uh, video is you're going to watch me go through uh, some of the training materials and I want to show you specifically how to use the banners under the marketing materials section. So your control panel should look very similar to this. On the left hand side you have a series of resources under the heading of marketing materials. So the first logical place to start is with the first link and that is for the banners code. So let me go ahead and click this link and when this page comes up you'll see something that looks similar to this. Now the exact banners, let me slide this window over so you can see what I'm looking at. The exact banners that are going to be in your control panel will look different than this. These are demonstration banners but they're going to serve our purposes. So as you see me go through some of these video tutorials you're going to see demonstration marketing materials. You're not going to see the exact same ones that your merchant has made available to you. But this will give you a step-by-step -step concrete example of exactly how to use the banners and also all the other marketing materials as we go through those videos. So let's go ahead and dive in. So what you see here is that we have one two banners. You may have more or you might only have one. But no, regardless of how many you have, you just need to find a banner that you want to use on your website. Now, if you currently don't have a website, then I highly recommend that you look, you watch the video where I talk about how to get your own website. There are various ways to do it for uh, little or no money, lots of options available, but I make that very simple and easy to understand with uh, an additional training video on getting your own website. Uh, if you don't want to have your own website, there are sometimes places where you can place, uh, place a banner like this on someone else's website, but if you have your own website, you're going to have a lot more control over where the banner goes and also just the flexibility to add whatever marketing materials you want to your own website. That's one more reason to have your own website. So let's go ahead and, and copy some of this code. So here's the source code that we're going to need to copy and paste into our web page somehow and you're going to uh, you're about to see how that's going to work and um, this is this is the end result that we should get now notice that we have some animation on the screen if I just wait a second you'll see there's animation and that's done with flash and this is called a simple flash banner that's the banner description and it gives you a target URL in this example the target URL uh, is pointing at Google Obviously, your merchant's going to want to point this either at their home page or possibly a very specific product page. So, what we want to do is grab this, highlight this code, and we want to scroll up and down using the scroll bar over here on the left, and make sure that all of the code available has been highlighted. And then what you want to do is right click and choose copy, which you're not going to be able to see me click, copy, so right click copy. The other way you could do it is you could hit hold down control on your keyboard and hit the letter C. Apple users, I believe it's uh, Apple C. But anyhow, you're going to right click copy and that will copy it to your clipboard. What I like to do at this point is go ahead and open up a regular text editor. I'm using something called Notepad++. And this just gives me some more visual cues about how to, uh, about the code that I'm using. But I'll go ahead and right click and paste this in here. Now, feel free to use just regular old Notepad. So if you don't have Notepad++, which by the way is free, you can Google it, Notepad++, and download it to your computer. If you're not using Notepad++, regular old Notepad will work. But I highly recommend you stay away from Word or uh, Microsoft Word or WordPad. You want to use a very simple plain Jane text editor. So Notepad or some variation of Notepad will work great. Okay, so this is the code that we copied and pasted and notice that it begins with object and ends with object and that's ca characteristic of a flash uh, banner. Now if you're not using a flash banner, as I'll show you in the next demonstration, then you're not going to see the object tags, but I just wanted to point that out to you. Okay, so we copied and pasted that uh, onto this notepad area. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back over to the browser and show you two different ways to use this on, uh, on the internet. One is to have your own blog, and here I've got a demonstration blog that I've set up at jbdemo.com. There's no reason for you to go check that out. Uh, I just needed a test area uh, where, where I could show you exactly how to do this. So this is just a very generic WordPress blog. It does. You do not have to use WordPress, but I like WordPress. It gives some great 
uh, great results as far as search search engine optimization uh, without having to know a whole lot about search engine optimizing your web pages. A, a lot of a lot of the way that WordPress is set up is done for you. So let's go ahead and look at another test area, and this is um, this is a, just a regular template, just a, a simple HTML template that I uploaded to uh, to my test site. So I'm going to show you how to post this into a WordPress blog. Let me go ahead and click on. So I've logged into the WordPress backend here, and and once I'm logged in, I can choose the right tab, W R I T E, and wait for that page to come up. And I want to make sure that I'm looking at uh, the post. If I'm going to make a new post, then I want to make sure that that's highlighted. The other option is to write a page. And I don't have time in this video to go over the details of the difference between a post and a page, but let's just jump right in. Let's say that I'm going to create uh, just a banner for demonstration. Okay, now normally the way that it's set up when you first open up uh, WordPress, is that it's set for this visual, what's called a WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get editor. So it's made to make things very simple for you to just be able to type stuff in and, and use these buttons uh, without having to know any HTML. Um, but in this case, what we want to do is we want to, we want to write our uh, article and talk about our fantastic merchant and here is a banner all right so I need to put a banner here what I want to do is I want to switch over to the HTML and this is where I want to paste in my banner code so I give myself a little bit of room and I go back to notepad highlight right click copy which technically I don't need to do because it's already on my my um clipboard. But let's go ahead and right click and choose paste or I could choose control V as in Victor. That's a shortcut for paste. Okay, so there's all the code which looks like a bunch of gobbledygook. Let's go ahead and publish it. See what we have. All right, so let's go back to the website and I'll hit refresh. One, two, three. Hit refresh and there we have a banner. And if I click on this banner, it's going to take me through the link over to Google, and but before it does that, it's actually going to cookie me, and it will um, it will cookie me so that ideally this would go to the merchant's website, and then um, your visitor, hopefully a certain percentage of your visitors are going to make a purchase, and when they do, you get paid, and this is how the tracking works. So this banner is automatically set up to go through the um, the merchant's control panel in such a way that the visitor doesn't see that they were just uh, tagged with a with a cookie with an invisible harmless cookie on their computer so let me show you another another way to do this uh, we'll take the same code but this time I'll open up my template files so here I have a template file called index.html I'll right click on this and choose edit with notepad plus plus and that opens this HTML up in a text editor now if this is just more uh, more technical than you ever wanted to get into, get into then I highly recommend that you stick with WordPress either WordPress.com for your free site or WordPress uh, WordPress blog on your own web-based server uh, let me switch over to what this page looks like currently so I have test page here basically all I have to do you don't have to know the HTML all you have to do is look for where it says test page here and I know that this would be somewhere in here is where I want to add my banner. So let's just right click and use paste. And let's go ahead and save this. So I'll do file, save. And then I go over to my uh, handy FTP editor, or sorry, FTP software, which uh, allows me to connect to my web server. And I'm using FileZilla. FileZilla is something that you can Google and download if you'd like to use it. What I want to do is I want to get the file that I just created. I want to click, drag, and drop it right here, and this will upload it to my web server. So let's go ahead and do that. So I want to grab this file, and then let's see if I can grab it. Click, drag, and drop it, and the upload just happened. 
Now I go to the website and I hit refresh. One, two, three. And let's see if we have something. There we go. There's the banner. There's the new banner right there. And again, that's, that's the same banner that we added to the WordPress blog, except the difference is I had to have a little bit more, uh, just a little bit more technical, but not too bad. Um, if you have someone managing your website, then what you want to do is you want to give them the code and say, hey, upload this to my website. All right, let's real quick, before I run out of time, let me grab, uh, this is a regular HTML banner. Simple JPEG banner, s still pointing at Google. I can right click and copy this. Right click, choose copy. I can go over to my WordPress control panel and I can, let's go to manage, I'll, I'll go the long way in. Choose manage, post, and here's the post that you just saw me create. And remember, you want to make sure that you're in the HTML area. So we can go down and give ourselves a little bit of room. We can type in here is a JPEG banner. JPEG just stands for is um, is just an image. Okay, so rather than being an animated flash, it's just a regular image. So what we want to do is save this by clicking the save button. And then once that's saved, I can flip over to the actual website itself. So I only have one banner now, but I'm going to hit refresh. One, two, three, and there you go. So now you have a JPEG banner. So um, you don't have to have the technical details or the technical know-how to know ex to, to know exactly what, uh, you know, how, how is this flash created? You don't need to worry about that. All you need to be able to do is highlight, right-click, copy, and then paste that in. And running update, let me start over. Creating a WordPress blog on your own web server is actually so much easier than you would ever imagine, especially when you follow the other video that I have uh, along with these video training tutorials. So I hope that was educational and you now know how to use the banners. The rest of these marketing materials, once you know how to use a banner, the rest of these marketing materials are going to be just as easy, if not easier.